Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And listen, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today, if you will, take your Bibles and turn with me to Hebrews, Hebrews chapter number 11, and let's look at verse number 5 as our text verse of Scripture. Now, the Bible says here, by faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. And friends, I certainly pray that the Lord will add his great blessings to the reading of his holy and precious word on this beautiful day. Get that good, fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. <coughs> well, amen. Friends, there's just, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> there's just not a better way to start a brand new day good fresh hot coffee, and a fresh word from God. Today I want to bring to you a devotional thought titled, Pleasing God. My friend, it is the classic theme of world literature, the need of a lesser being to please a greater being. Whether the greater being is a king, a tyrant, an org, or a fa fa facilitating or fa facilitating, I can't even get the word out, a fantasizing being. The subject's need is to discover what the ruler demands and do it. Tension in the story builds and it looks less and less likely that the subject will be able to please the ruler. Listen, my friend, the Bible is part of world literature and it shares that theme with other great stories. The Bible story, the necessity for man to please God, is at the same time more and less dramatic. First, God requires only one thing, to be pleased. The Bible says, but without faith, it's impossible to please him. Everything else might do to please the creator God does not qualify unless it's preceded by faith. And then secondly, there's a dramatic crisis and solution. God becomes a human being so dedicated to, so, so being so dedicated to God that he lives a perfect and faithful life and dies to pay for the faithlessness of all other men. The life of pleasing God is illustrated by Enoch. The Bible says he pleased God. My friend, listen, if it's your desire to please God, always begin with faith. Our belief in him seems to bring him more pleasure than anything else. So believe him and please him. Think about this and now let's pray together. Lord, we're so grateful that you give us the opportunity to have faith and to believe. And we pray that we'll always 
do that. Believe and trust completely in you and your plan of salvation. God, I pray for the one who maybe needs to hear this most, that they'll make you Lord and Savior of their life. And I ask that you bless this word in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Well, friends, I do pray the devotion blessed you today. And if it did, you bless someone else by sharing it with them, remembering that your life is the Bible that some will read today. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. And you have a wonderful day.